Hey, hey, what's up, spiritual hooligan? How do you get out of a down cycle fast? How do you get out of a slump? How do you turn things around? Because sometimes we go into these phases where it's just like nothing's working, I'm not inspired, there's no energy, and uh, it's so easy to get down on yourself. And today I wanna help you to recontextualize going into a slump and what it means so that you can get out fast. My name is Matthew Ferry and I'm bringing you your daily enlightenment. It's your moment to pause, to slow down, to get connected to enlightened perspectives. I wanna help you to quiet your mind and restore your peace. Now, when you go into a down cycle, when you go into a slump, it's hard to be peaceful. It's hard to maintain your happiness and your joy because there's this innate um, uh, like uh, malfunction inside of you where you're like, uh, uh, you're right, start, stop, stop, wait, I need to, I'm supposed to be doing more, I'm not, am I a loser, what's wrong with me, am I ever gonna get my inspiration back, is it always gonna be down, will I keep going down, what's it gonna mean long term, we just have like the, essentially what happens is we resist what's going on and that creates a weakness in the system and you fire up the drunk monkey, which is the survival system. So remember, any time that you weaken yourself through some kind of degrading context, you fire up the drunk monkey and it literally makes it worse. You spiral downward. So I wanna recontextualize what this process is with you. I think it's probably gonna take me two daily enlightenments to get it done. But wanna start off with the, the word abundance and your perspective about abundance. So abundance, is derived from the Latin word, which means rising in waves, abundance, rising in waves. In essence, abundance is the experience of the ocean of life, rising in waves, right? There's joyous experiences going up, feelings of connectedness and love, yay, right? We're going up the, the energy cycle. Physical and mental, emotional energy, bursts of enthusiasm, bursts of success and, and effectiveness and power, right? Up, but then like the ocean, followed by troughs. No energy, nothing happening, things falling apart, um, feelings of doubt then start to kick in, uncertainty, concern. And if you leave these things unmanaged, or if you don't hold them in the proper context, then it triggers the drunk monkey and you go into a panic and a fear and left unchecked, uh, you know, it can start to spiral. In other words, life naturally goes up and down and up and down. There's nothing you're gonna do about it. It's not always up, 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 up. And anyone who says that it is, is completely full of shit. I just want you to know. Everybody goes up and down, up cycles and down cycles, and businesses have up cycles and down cycles, and your hobbies have up cycles and down cycles. Everything, your relationship with your spouse, up cycles and down cycles. Everything is going up and down. And what happens is we relate to the down like something's broken, like something needs to be fixed, like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna lose or it's never gonna come back. And when we hold the context, when we don't admit that there are ups and downs, that there are, when, when you're in a down, what there is to do is chill. When we don't admit that, we resist it. And when we resist it, it persists and makes it more intense and that kicks in the drunk monkey in your head. And next thing you know, you have your hidden motives are kicking in and the unconscious reflexes of the drunk monkey are kicking in and you're going into a negative spiral. So I wrote it down like this. When you go into the trough, if you don't notice it, you'll begin to operate from lack and fear and you'll start to compromise your own integrity. So you'll, you'll potentially start to blow off promises and commitments to yourself and others because you have like a, a breach that's going inside of you. So you begin to go down in your energy cycle and rather than just owning it and admitting it and, and starting to adjust for the down, instead you break promises to yourself and others and you're not being honest and you, you start to uh, degrade your own personal integrity. You will potentially start to take actions that make it worse because you're compensating. You're like, oh my God, I'm going to go into the down cycle. I don't want to go into a down cycle. So you, you exert force, you exert um, uh, self-hatred. You know, what's wrong with me? Come on, Matthew, Arr, I gotta get motivated. Personal power, Arr, right? And you try to like, you know, force yourself into doing stuff. And so often you actually become compromised in the actions that you take. How much better are you when you're completely in the flow? 
And when you feel like I'm a loser and everything's falling apart, you get out of the flow when you resist. So I want you to right now just, will you just write down two things that you do on a regular basis that make your life worse when you go into a down cycle? What do you do when you go into a down cycle to make your life worse? So often I notice that people will um, start drinking when they go into a down cycle and it just makes their life worse or they start eating everything under the sun. They start eating all kinds of sugar and and they're just try, they're trying to regain energy. They're trying to change their state through uh, through chemical means, right? Or, uh, you know, they binge watch or they go out and party with their friends or, you know, there's all kinds of stuff that people do that make their life worse. What about you? And then here's the question. Do those actions send you into optimism or survival? <laughs> they send you into survival and it makes it worse, right? It's like, here you are, you're, you're not going into a survival. The down cycle is not a survival situation. It's just a natural thing that happens in any project, in any relationship, your physiology, um, the cycles of, of life. They're just, there's times when things are degrading and going into rest, and there's times when things are moving up and going into energy. You have to essentially learn to ride the waves. But so often, you do you start to go down, and next thing you know, you freak out, you panic, and you make it worse. Like instead of instead of rolling with it and going with it, you start to panic against it and fighting against it. And that, of course, you use all your energy up and then, bleh, you know, you're, you're dead. If you use a uh, um, surfing example, you know, the surfer, the big wave surfers, if you watch the documentaries on this, they talk about how the, the entire methodology for surviving when a giant 50 foot wave just gobbles you up and smashes you to bits. The way to survive it is to completely and totally surrender and relax into it. And it's the same thing for you and I, surrendering and relaxing into it. Now these actions that we take when we resist send us right back into survival mode. And here's the thing you know, everybody expects you to be like them. They expect you to be in low grade fear, concern, resentment, anger, and it feels comfortable when you go into that. So suddenly you get tons and tons of attention from the people around you. When you go into your down cycle, they're like, oh my God, oh, I see you're in a down, what can we do? And they want to uh, commiserate with you and that makes it even worse because you're the type of person who you just have this innate feeling like things can be better. Things can be, I can be uh, more powerful. I can do more things. You have like an optimism that's like naturally built into you. And so it actually makes it worse when people are commiserating with you when you're in your down cycle and that just keeps the spiral going downward. I want to hear what you have to say about this. What are the things that, that you have been doing that have been creating down cycles? How do you resist? What do you think about the down cycles? What's the language that you've been using that has been making you resist the down cycles? Put it in the comments. I want to know. And then do me a favor, like this Daily Enlightenment. You watched it all the way through. Come on. Like this Daily Enlightenment. Subscribe to my channel. Share this video with other people that you think it might be helpful for them to start thinking about and recontextualizing the down cycle, the slump, in a different way. My name is Matthew Ferry and I am the author of Quiet Mind, Epic Life. And I am so appreciative of you watching or listening to this daily enlightenment. Thanks for tuning in.